Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'd like to talk to you guys about the Boostbox Omega, which is basically a device that allows you to analog boost into either device, whether you're using an N-Gage, or an SETX4, or BDX. We have a version for each. So this, shown right here up front, is the N-Gage version. Now, how do you know it's the N-Gage version? Well, it's pre-wired, wired right in, ready to plug and play, basically. The SCT version, though, looks a little different, and you will have to buy the cable separate. Well, where do you hook it up? Well, I have an N-Gage here. Flip it on the back here. You can see that little arrow? You'll also notice there's an arrow, a very small arrow, right on the top of the connector. Make sure those arrows line up. On the SCT version, go ahead and install the cable you will have to purchase separately. And then at the top of the SCT X4 or BDX, you'll notice it has a similar connection. Go ahead and install it there. When you're ready to configure the boost box to the N-Gage, you want to make sure that the analog is showing voltage. You're going to go to Diagnostics, Settings, and you go down to Other Inputs. And see, Analog 1 and Analog 2 are showing voltage, so that's good. So we're going to go back, and we're going to connect to gauges. After you connect to gauges, select which screen you want to display your boost, and select Analog 1. As you can see, with nothing hooked up to the port, analog one is displaying a value of 1.04, 1.05 volts. You're gonna to go to the website and input that into the formula. After going back to the diagnostic screen, analog input one, you will scroll until it says tap to configure. And then you will input the formula that it spit out on that website. And these were the values that were given to me after inputting in inputting in my voltage. Now we will go ahead and test it to make sure it works. And there you go, your analog one is reading pretty much no boost, so I pretty much have a crude <laughs> setup for boost. I'm gonna blow and into this hose and see how much boost I can make. Yeah, 2.3 pounds of boost. And then I'm going to do the opposite, and it's reading properly. So that's how you configure it for the N-Gage. For SCT devices, you will need a laptop. So after you hook everything up and get into LiveLink, in LiveLink, you will actually have to input the data into LiveLink and then import it back into the device. Okay, a lot of you guys that aren't familiar with doing that, it's a little bit more of a, uh, you know, uh, involved process. But it's easily doable. Just follow the directions as shown on the website and you should be ready to go. So there you have it. Basically showed you the basic way of hooking up a Boost Box Omega to your N-Gage NSCT device. I also wanted to mention this device is 100% plug and play, meaning it does not need any external power. It also has barometric compensation, meaning if you go up in altitude, it's gonna compensate for the altitude in your area, so no recalibrating needed. It also has a separate power source input for five volts right here if you want to run any other type of sensor such as fuel rail pressure. It's insanely accurate and it's also built to Lunds Racing's specification and it's preferred by us to use when analoging boost into any vehicle. So thanks for watching. Look out for this product on our website and more videos coming up on application and installs. Thank you.